This is Winning Cures Everything. Here's your host, Gary Seegers. Welcome in, Winning Cures Everything. The Big 12 College Football Previews and Predictions, Part 1. So we're going to yeah. knock out the first five. They don't have divisions. So yeah, yeah no, no divisions. First and I, five. I didn't want to do ten because, like, ten can be a little overwhelming. It is. So we're going to dig into the first five alphabetically, and then we'll knock out the other five later. I was curious how we were going to break it down. That's, Alphabetical is probably the most diplomatic. Yeah. It's an easy way to, to do people it. people against one another. But. Easy way to do it. So uh, the show, Winning Cures Everything, I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. You can follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. You can follow me at ChrisBGNN. And you can follow the show at Winning Cures. You can also get us on Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. Leave some nice reviews, five-star written reviews. We would appreciate that. Share the show out with your buddies if you appreciate it. We appreciate your support. We thank you for being here. Whew. Second we got to... Uh, I'm excited about college football. Me too. I am so pumped It's right going to be great. Uh, this is going to be a good time. We're going to go ahead and kick things off. BetNow.eu promotes the show, sponsors the show. That's Can't it. forget them. Sponsors the show. So go check them out. BetNow.eu. Use promo code WINNING50. That's W-I-N-N-I-N-G-5-0. If you're watching the show, it's right there below you. If you are listening to it, it is in the description. So go check it out. Uh, they're fantastic. Everything about them is good. They treat us well. They will treat you well. They make betting simple. That's all you can ask for out of an online sports book. And so go check it out for yourself. Love the layout. Love the sports book. Love the odds. Uh, betnow.eu. Winning 50 is the promo code. Do it to it. All right. The Baylor Bears. 7-6 and six last year. Pretty good turnaround. Matt Rule is awesome. Incredible. As, absolutely incredible. Uh, against the spread, uh, Building a team, building a program, etc. Look, they've got eight returning starters on offense, six on defense. Experience-wise, number four in the conference, number 41 in the country. They're over under seven and a half this year. Ooh, okay. Over is minus 145. Under is plus 125. So Vegas thinks it is more likely that they will hit eight wins as opposed to seven or below. That's right. Head coach Matt Rule, 8-17 and 17 in two years. Of course, that means that he went 1-11 and 11 his first season. Correct. Last year, completely turned it around, won a bowl game. Uh, yes, it was over Vanderbilt, but that's a pretty good Vanderbilt team. And at uh, this point... What does that matter? Wait a minute. What does that matter? It, they both made bowl games. They're both smart kid schools. Hey. You got a point. You got a point. Look, he took over an impossible situation. Yes. Uh, but he took a 1-11 and 11 team to 7-6 and six in 2018 with a bowl win. Doesn't matter who they beat. They won a bowl game. Junior quarterback Charlie Brewer returns with wide receiver Chris Platt and a deep core receivers from the number 22 total offense in the country. But it was only the number 63 scoring offense in the country. I think that will improve this year. Number 118 turnover margin last year. Um, I think that's going to flip. Along with the number 86 total defense and the number 91 scoring defense, I think all of that gets better this year. I was just about to say, I think yeah. the defense numbers are definitely getting better. Too. Defensive end James Lynch. Uh, he will be a key cog in that defense. He is an absolute beast. Had five and a half sacks, nine tackles for loss. It is a physical team with skill players that look like Oklahoma and Texas. Right? The schedule is awesome this year. I think this is a a big turnaround year for them. I got them at eight and four. I got them five and four in the conference. They've got a tough stretch at the end of the year, but I love this team. I. I'll tell you this. I've got them starting out 6-0. Whoo. Yeah. Uh, I do, too. I've got them beating Iowa State. I do, too. I've got them winning at Kansas State, beating Texas Tech at home. And then I've got them losing at Oklahoma State. And Me then too. after the bye week, we've got, I've got them beating West Virginia mm-hmm. at home, losing at TCU, losing to Oklahoma, losing to Texas, and then winning at Kansas. Correct. And that puts them at eight and four. I think that is a remarkable year. I think it is the I next think, step in the progression. I think we have the exact same thing with the same wins and losses. The the difference is going to come where it won't surprise me if they beat one of those big three teams at the back at, end at TCU, Oklahoma, and Texas. Now, if 
I mean, I, I know, I know I two, like, of those, two of those are at home. I like TCU this year, but it would not shock me if they don't get their quarterback situation oh, fixed. Oh, no, yeah. That, that, Gary Patterson has to fix that. That's the road game. But the other two are home games. Yeah. And if Baylor is making a push for 9-10 wins, they're I mean, going to show up. That stadium's going to be rocking. Yeah. And they're a tough team. They, they definitely are. They, we we like Matt Baylor. Rule. We're Matt Rule fans. Now you are. We're in on that. You are correct. I was about shocked. That. I, I thought totally that we would be Separate quite a bit that, different huh? on that. Good job. Next up, Iowa State Cyclones, eight and five last year, six and three in the conference. They return seven starters on offense, seven starters on defense. Number one most experienced in the conference. Number sixteen most experienced in the country. Head coach Matt Campbell, nineteen and nineteen in, uh, in three years, fifty four and thirty four overall. That includes his time at Toledo. He is building something serious in Ames, but the offense has got to catch up to the defense. Uh, number 96 total offense last year, number 82 scoring. They get quarterback Brock Purdy back and the entire offensive line, but you got to figure out who's going to replace David Montgomery and wide receiver Hakeem Butler, right? David Montgomery, the, uh, the running back. I think they're going to be able to find somebody to fill in his shoes. Hakeem Butler, though, was legit. Um, so we'll see if they've got the skill players to be able to uh, to do anything. Number 33, total offense. Or sorry, total defense. I would say it's got to be defense. Number 14, rushing defense. And that's massive, right? That's right. Uh, they returned five of their front seven, the entire defensive line. Uh, but only two defensive backs back for the number 72 passing defense. So already not a great passing defense, and you're coming in with inexperience. But if they were already kind of bad, again, we've said this a thousand times, maybe that's not a bad thing, right? So we'll see. And, and I, I think a more experienced front seven is going to help that back in. Yes. I, I mean, I, I just think that's how defense goes. If you told me I had a bunch of money to spend on a defense in the NFL, I would spend it all on the front seven. Yeah. And I would throw any athletic dudes I could on the back end and just say, figure it out. Because yeah. if they get on the back, it doesn't matter. I think I think you're right. Uh, Eleven players are back that received postseason All Big Twelve awards. The schedule is brilliant. I love this team. Yeah, for for a Big Twelve title run. Now I do love this team, but I also think they're going to lose one somewhere that they shouldn't. That they shouldn't. Man. Um, okay. I've got them. At, uh, the over under is eight for them. Over is minus 125, under 8 is plus 105. So they think it's more likely that they'll hit 9 as opposed to 7. I got them at 9 and 3. I got them 9 and 3 as well. Um, if we had a real producer, he would yell at us all the time. Yeah, because we, we, there's no controversy with, yeah. with some of these. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've got them losing at Baylor. I think they're going to beat Iowa this year at home. Uh, I've got them losing at Baylor, but then beating TCU, uh, lose or beating uh, West Virginia on the road. But then I've got them losing at Texas Tech. And I think that's the one where they're going to slip up. Uh, then I think they come back home. They beat Oklahoma State. They got a bye week. I've got them beating Oklahoma. But then I've got them losing at home against Texas because having those games back-to-back, I think it's they're going to put everything they got into the road game at Oklahoma. Okay. And then you come back home. You're feeling a little better about yourself. Everything's good. And then I think Texas is talented enough to come in and beat them. But then close out with wins over Kansas and at Kansas State. Nine and three, six and three in the conference. It would not shock me in the slightest to see them come out and actually win, uh, at, at least get to the Big 12 title game. That's right. And if you get there, of course you got a shot to win it. That's right. I, I completely agree. I got them nine and three. I actually have them losing to Iowa. It's at Iowa. That wouldn't surprise me if they win that. Well, no, game. no, that one's it's at home. It's in Ames. Oh, it is at Ames. That's right. Yeah. It's in Iowa last year. It wouldn't surprise me if they win that. That's a coin flip game. Um, and I I don't like picking lo- winners and losers all the time. I think they do come away with a win against Oklahoma or Texas. I don't see them losing both of those games. You got me curious about whether it's at Iowa. It is. It's at, No, it's at Iowa State. It's on the schedule right here. Yeah, okay. So it's okay. They're, they're at home. I just read it okay. wrong. And I knew that. I just read it wrong. Okay. Um, all right, so nine and three. We both got them nine and three. I, we both have them nine and three. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I love it. I love this team. I love Matt Campbell. I think they're gonna be really good this year. 
Uh, I really like Brock Purdy. Me too. Really like Brock Purdy. Tough, tough kid. Yes. Now, we're going to talk about your fighting Les Miles Jayhawks. Right. The Kansas, My Jayhawks. The Kansas Jayhawks went 3-9 and nine last year, 1-8 and eight in conference. They returned five starters on offense, five on defense. Experience, number 64 in the country, number six in the conference. That's kind of okay. Like, you know, does not fine. matter. Head coach Les Miles takes over for David Beatty, who went six and forty-two the last four years. That matters. Uh, yeah, went two and thirty-four in the conference. Running back Puka Williams, he is an absolute star, and we haven't talked about this on the show. Domestic violence uh, issue. Yeah, he was suspended from like. January through July. Yes. And then they reinstated him, and they're going to suspend him for the first game of the season, which is against Indiana State. Correct. But Les did this at LSU. Yeah. Like he's, he, he loves giving people a second chance. Yep. And that's... Now, I, in, it's easy. I, I defend him because I love him. I'm super biased. I, I'm open and honest about that. I, I worship this man. But he is the only coach that has ever kicked a Heisman Trophy candidate off his team. That's true. And he did it for smoky marijuana. Yeah. It wasn't for beating anybody. It wasn't for anything. So he will give second chances. And then he will draw draw a line in the sand and say, you have gone too far and you are gone for good. And I love you. And, and, Tyron Matthews today will tell you Les Miles saved his life. Yeah. It changed his life, and it was the hardest thing that ever happened. So while I'm going to just take a few minutes to defend him, yes, he's given this guy a second chance. This is a slap on the wrist. This is not a penalty at all. Yeah. It's not a punishment at all. No. But it's not like he's not afraid to punish. Exactly. Uh, running back Puka Williams, like I said, absolute star, so you can – Absolutely understand why he would want him on this team. He's going to need him. He's going to need him. He's going to need him. Uh, Quarterback Thomas McVitty was the number one Juco pro-style quarterback in the country. Brought him in. Les is going to bring some Juco guys in. This team is not going to look like last year's team. No, it's not. I assure you of that. Um, I think it might record-wise. Okay. But I think as far as aesthetics go, they're not going to be a tougher out. They're not going to get blowed out by everybody like no. they used to. We're not 40 point games anymore. No, no, you're right about that. The offensive line has uh, experience, uh, but can they produce? Can they actually block anybody? And that's, that's going to be a big part of this. Defense was a stronger unit in 2018, but they lost five of their starting front seven to graduation. They returned the entire secondary, so that's good. Uh, so long as they bring in some big old boys on that offensive line or defensive line, I think they're going to be just fine. Uh, favorite, like early schedule. I mean, it's very, very simple, especially the first couple of games. Um, then it starts to get difficult with the game at uh, Boston College. But, uh, it, you know, they can, they can build momentum early. But I think there's too much defensive inexperience to expect a breakthrough this season. Great. I think this is step one. This right. is you You start to build the identity of the team, and then you figure out how to win later because these guys have no idea how to win. I've got them at three and nine. One and eight in the conference. Their wins I've got over Kansas State at home. I've got over Coastal Carolina at home and over Indiana State. I think they lose at Boston College, at home to West Virginia, at TCU, Oklahoma, at Texas, Texas Tech. At Oklahoma State, at Iowa State, and to Baylor. I believe in less, and less is all about gradual, sustainable gains. Take that inch, don't give it back. Never worry about taking a mile. I think they're four and eight. I think last year they were three and nine. I think he's going to go in with his goal to be better than they were last year. Now, the over under is three. And the over is plus 140. So if you think they're hitting four. I do think they're hitting four. Then I would suggest that you grab Oh, no, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to play that because I'm getting good odds. And let me tell you this. The, the, the under, by the way, under three is minus 160. 60, I was so about they to say, are more likely to, be, to hit two yeah, nope, than no they are question, to hit. No question. Yeah. So here's, here's where I think they get that extra W. 
they win one of Boston College or Texas Tech. Texas Tech to do have at home. Les is going to beat somebody. He's going to be a dog again. That's that's just going to happen. I, I don't th- know I who, think- and I don't know how, and they're not, they don't have the dudes to beat a Texas or an Oklahoma. Like, I it think won't they, be could, one they could beat West Virginia. They could beat them. I, now, I, I love this Gundy team. You know that. We'll yeah. get to them tomorrow, next time we do this. But it wouldn't surprise me if they beat Oklahoma State because Oklahoma State does this all the time. They'll yeah. be they'll run through a conference. I mean, they'll be like seven and zero, oh, and then they'll lose to a garbage team somewhere. Yeah, not but, saying that Kansas is garbage. That's right. What? Well, but they have been. They absolutely yeah. have been. Yeah. And dude wise, like guys getting off and actually striping up and playing on the field. Yeah, they're they're trash compared to the other players. In 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 comparison to what you're about to go against, I just I just believe in that man. More than I, I believe in almost anybody else. Okay. I, I was understand. really upset when he took this job. Yeah. Because I don't it's, want him to tarnish his legacy. Because right now I have him on this pedestal and I just I don't want him. I don't think he falls off that pedestal just because he, he loses at Kansas. Oh no no no. I don't need But if he if he, if, I'll if tell he you turns this. Kansas around it to a six even, and six team that plays in a bowl game, not wins a bowl game, plays in a bowl game. Then yes. He's a god. Yeah. He's a god. Which what does that make Mark Mangino? Think about 2007 when they won the Orange Bowl oh and won 11 God. games. I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. that's just... Oh, no, they won 12 games. They won Didn't 12 they go 12 games. and won that year? When they won the Orange Bowl, they won. For, they were I mean, 11. Just won. remarkable. Jesus. Um, all right. Kansas State. Okay, now we can get on with the love fest. Kansas Sorry. State, 5-7 and seven last year, 3-6 and six in the conference. Returning starters, they got 7 on offense, 8 on defense. Experience-wise... Number 23 in the country. Number two in the conference. Which sounds great. Except, they got a whole new philosophy. A brand new head coach. Bill Snyder's gone. Some of his boys are still there. But I think that's going to cause a little bit of infighting. I, I, was to say, I don't know that that's a good thing. I don't think This it is. is one of those, when you replace a legend, you either want to just replace the head coach and leave everything the same. Or you want to... No stone left unturned. Instead, you've got some of the old assistants and some new ones. They ride two horses with one ass. Exactly. This is not going to work well. Well, they they brought in some like they brought in an outsider. That's right. But they made them keep a lot of assistants. But if you if you wanted to keep the assistants and keep the same thing rolling, then you should have hired from in house. That's right. Um, so I don't think it was smart what they did. Uh, I, I was do curious. Like, how you thought this was going to go this year? I I like head coach Chris Kleiman. Like I, I, I do too. That's the problem. Is is I don't I don't think this is a reflection of him. I think this is a bad job. I, but yeah, because, because they of the were situation. Gonna, that's right. They're, we want to keep all our assistants. We want to keep all these people, but we want to bring you in to run this ship. I'm not a fan of that ever. Yeah, it's uh, it seems like a bad idea. Can you um, remember in college football? I know we're going long. Can you remember anywhere about, in college football where that has worked? Because I can't. No. I've seen it cripple teams. I mean, good teams. Uh, and, and Kansas State wouldn't even. Wouldn't, oh, no. Yeah, they weren't good. They, they weren't had even a that dude good. that was there for, for a decade or well, no, it was that. Well, it was, what, 20 something years yeah. and then Ron and then, Prince. And then came it, back. It took Ron Prince three years with the same staff and everything to completely derail that. And then Bill Snyder came back, well, what happened? fixed it again. They kept the same staff, and they tried to make somebody else be Bill Snyder. Well, but Ron Prince was actually on staff there. It so doesn't like, matter, but he but still it, can't do it. It's yeah, hard yeah. enough to do it anyway, much less take somebody from the outside to do it. I just, yeah. I just don't know where I've ever seen that happen. I, I've never seen it actually work. So, I mean, we'll see. You know, um, I don't think it's going to work. He went 72-13 and 13 in six years at North Dakota State. That's that right. is really, really damn good. It's really good. Uh, taking over for Bill Snyder. Junior quarterback, Skylar Thompson returns. They lost their top four running backs. They're going to rely on a lot of freshmen there. Three out of five of their offensive linemen are back. But this was the number 114 total offense in the country. I mean, we'll see because Kleiman needs running backs. That's right. right. So and His he, offense has to go through the line. Exactly. Uh, defense, number 48 scoring, number 71 total defense. They've got some talent. They're going to be more aggressive under climbing. Um, 
there's a lot of experienced players, but not across the board. There's there's gaps and holes that are going to make it really hard to win early. Um, but I think the schedule is brutal. Yep. And I mean, look, I've all their winnable games are on the road. Yeah. They've got two winnable games that I have them losing that are on the road. I've got them three and nine. I've got see. Yeah, I've I've got them three and nine. That's kind of surprising. We both went three and nine. So I I've got them one and eight in the conference. I've got them nope. beating West Virginia. I apologize. I've got them two and ten. Oh, you got them I've losing got, to West Virginia. Because I've got them losing to West Virginia, and I've got them losing to Kansas. I've got them losing. I've, to Kansas. I've only got them winning the first two. Yeah, games. I've I've got them losing to Kansas. And I've got them I've got them losing out. But I've I've got them winning the West Virginia game because I think that they rally at some point in. That's the the most winnable home game that they've got. It is in conference anyway. That's right. It is. That that's my. So here's my problem, and this is, I'm looking at these when I try to look at a team. I'm trying so hard to see how the how the season's gonna go. Yeah. I looked at it, had the same conversation with with Cal or whatever when we when we did the Pac-12 breakdown, which is. I think there's going to be a little turmoil inside that locker room with the coaching staff and the way things are ran already. You get to losing four or five games in a row, you're not going to come together. You're just going to yeah. just say, we're all out. Nobody, everybody, it's Florida State from last year. Yeah, no, you, like you it might just, be right. When it falls apart, it just all falls apart. Nobody likes one another, people fighting. You just, you just have problems. It might not get to that level. But I don't think losing is going to make them better. You might be right. It's not going to bring them together. You might be and right. And I don't see enough wins outside of those first two games of the season for them to do anything to help bring them together. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you might you, you might be you right. You get to those winnable games, they're at the very end of the season. Yeah. What's that coaching staff and that team look like by then? I mean, if... if Everybody just totally out? I mean, possibly. I, 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 I like climbing that. enough to be able to to get one win there. I would like to see. I, um, look, I would like to see that. I don't want to see him do bad. But I, I don't think that they win. I think less drives up his boys for that rivalry game. I think oh, they yeah. get that one. No, I agree. Um, I completely agree. But all of the games after the first bye week, so they they lose at Mississippi State. Yeah. Then you've got the first bye week, and then you've got at Oklahoma State, and then Baylor. That's right. And then you've got another bye week. And then you've got TCU, Oklahoma at home. That's right. At Kansas. At, at Texas, Texas. Not winning that game. Then you got West Virginia at home at Texas Tech and then Iowa State. Yeah. And I think this is just a bad situation. It's just a bad situation. If you were playing West Virginia or Texas Tech in the first four weeks of the season, five weeks of the season. You might could get some We're having a different it. conversation because yeah. you got two easy wins early and you could figure some things out. Their, uh, their over-under is five and a half. The oh. over is oh. the over is plus 160. The under is minus 180. 80. Yeah. So, I don't know how they get to five. Well, no, I don't either. Um, I think three is a is a crazy number. And I three, could be dead is, wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's it's possible I mean, I could are, be wrong and they could go six. But five and a half. This was not a real good roster anyway. Yeah, it's five and a half. That means they got to get to six to win that thing. Well, what's crazy, well, that's, pl- that's why it's plus 160. But this team went five and seven last year, and I don't see any way that they're better than they were I, last year. I just think that number's wrong. I just think that number's wrong. It's is there I, any I way at we're it, that wrong. I looked at it multiple times. Are we that wrong on this team? Have we missed that badly? Because no. we've missed before, and in college football, if you miss two, three games, it's a big difference. Yeah, it's a big difference. But I mean, we're we're two and a half games I'm, under. I'm, I'm four games away from that thing. That's, you got to get to six, and I got them at two. I, I mean, maybe like it. Look, Skylar Thompson, he's pretty good. Um, I mean, they look. The offense was bad last year. It's hard, it's hard to replace improves. a legend, especially when that legend didn't exactly was, leave was the cover. Kind of getting pushed out because it's just time. Yeah. Um, all right, let's go ahead. One we'll more. Do one more, and then we'll finish up the rest later. The Oklahoma Sooners, twelve and two last year, eight and one in the conference. Returning starters, four on offense, nine on defense. Experience-wise, number nine in the conference, number 116 in the country. They lost a lot. Yeah. Uh, head coach Lincoln Riley, 24-4. and four. 
in two years. He's got two playoff appearances, two Heisman Trophy quarterbacks in his first two seasons. He has followed that up with recruiting exceptionally well. Correct. Quarterback Jalen Hurts comes in. He's only got one offensive lineman returning. That's not a good thing. Wide receiver C.D. Lamb and running back Trey Sermon are back, so they do have playmakers. Uh, new defensive coordinator Alex Grinch has a lot of work to do. Number 114 total D, number 130 passing defense in the country. That is DFL, my friends. Yes, sir. But they do have linebacker Kenneth Murray back. He had 155 tackles last year, and in case you weren't keeping up, that is a lot. Um, if they can fix the defense, Riley is going to find ways to put up points. The schedule does set up for another playoff run because they're they're just that much more talented than everybody else. They are. But I think with the lack of experience, I I don't think Jalen Hurts is the same kind of quarterback that Kyler Murray and Baker Mayfield were. And that's not saying that Jalen is not good. Nope. That is saying that you had two different conversations. Two transcendent quarterbacks. Absolutely like number one pick in the NFL draft quarterbacks. Both and back-to-back I, Heisman's, both best quarterbacks yeah. in the drafts. And when you relied on your offense that much and you lose that many offensive linemen, you, you're obviously going to have playmakers back. And you've recruited offensive That's linemen. Right. But there is still a shift there. The line is where you can't just replace a dude. Right. You can throw another big, tall, fast receiver out there or big, fast running back in the backfield and, and things don't change a lot. Skill right. players are different. There's a reason we refer to it as the line and not center and left tackle and right. They play together. Yeah. And it's really hard to say, I know all last year you guys all played together. You're coming back. Yeah. I mean, that's it. And here's four other guys. And they're all really good. But can they all play together? That's right. Um, it, it's just going to be different. The over-under is 10 over is minus 165. The under is plus 145. So they, they think they're closer to 11 wins than they are to 9. But I think it's right on the number. I've got them 10-2. and two. I've got them 7-2 and two in the conference. Uh, here are the losses that I have. Okay. I've got them losing to Texas. And I've got them losing to Iowa State. Why I don't you? know where they're going to lose. But I got them 10-2 and two as well. I think they lose that Iowa State game. You, you want to know what I have on my paper? I've got them losing to Iowa State and I'm losing to Oklahoma State. At some point in time, Gundy's going to get them. And this is the year we find out who Lincoln Riley really is. Yeah. This is it right here. Yeah. Because you have a quarterback that the rest of the country has seen play well, but he plays a completely different style of football than what Lincoln Riley has played to this point. Yeah, that's okay? true. And you're going to have to rebuild you don't have the team Bob Soup's left for you. Yeah. And so now we're going to find out if he goes 10 and 2, he's worth everything that we think he's worth. Yeah. And if he doesn't, then, then maybe then the, we have the, the shine seeds, is off the apple just yeah, a little the bit. The seeds of doubt have right. been planted. And it doesn't make him terrible. It doesn't mean that, oh, well, he's just not a good coach. That's ridiculous. But it. It means we just can't pencil them in for the playoffs every year. Yeah, I, I think that that's what this is. I, I, right. That's my opinion, and and so there's a part of me that really wants to to be able to have the balls to pick them to, to lose to Houston week one. I don't. I just don't buy it. You, you're giving a guy I really like two three months to prepare for one game. With a brand new team, though, don't matter. He's got two, three months to play. Got, it's not like they're brand new. They were brand new six months ago. Yeah, I mean, you or got a point. Four there. months ago, three months ago, whenever he got hired, you got a point. I, that guy's a good coach. Yeah, no, he anyway. is. He is. They are. They are playing at Oklahoma, though. I don't. I don't know. I don't care. Either way. All right, that's gonna wrap up part one of our Big Twelve college football preview and predictions. <sighs> Go to winningcureseverything dot com. Go to betnow.eu. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.